So today we're going to talk about classifying polygons. And polygons are named based on the number of sides they have. So of course a three-sided polygon is called a triangle, four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral, five pentagon, six hexagon, seven septagon, eight octagon, nine nonagon, ten decagon, and twelve is a dodecagon. Um, other polygons that don't have a special number of sides are just called, you put the number of sides they have and then put gon. So that's how you would write that. So an important thing to note is that if you have a regular polygon, it means that all sides are congruent and all angles of the polygon are also congruent. So now we're going to do a little practice with classifying each poly polygon. So the first thing we have to do every time is count up the number of sides it, it has because that's how we name it. So obviously this is a this has three sides. So it has to be a triangle. Okay, so this has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So if you remember, it's called a hexagon. So this right here is called a hexagon. So this has one, two, three, four sides. And the correct name is a quadrilateral. I know it looks like a square, and it, it could be a square, but a square is a regular polygon, and we don't know that these are all the same size and that these angles are all the same measurement. So we can all we can call it is a quadrilateral right now. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a decagon because it has ten sides. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's called the septagon. And lastly, this has three, four, five sides. So it's called the pentagon. So now we're going to do some practice with regular polygons. And if you remember, a regular polygon has congruent sides and congruent angles. So this is asking for the measure of angle V. Well, if this is a regular hexagon, that means all of the angles have equal measure. So that's 120 degrees. And they want the measure of VM, or the length of segment VM. So it has to equal five meters. So this is a regular triangle. And a regular triangle is a special kind of triangle. And it's called an equilateral triangle. Now, if you remember, when we learned about equilateral triangles, we said that they had congruent sides and congruent angles. So that's what we call it if we have a regular triangle, a equilateral triangle. So the measure of AC has to be 3 centimeters. The measure of C has to be 60 centimeter or 60 degrees. So this we know is a regular polygon. And like I said before, a regular quadrilateral, because it has four sides, is called a square. So squares have all their angles are right angles, so so the measure of angle R. So if all of the square's angles are right angles, that means each one of its angles measures 90 degrees. The length of RL has to be seven inches because they have congruent lengths. 
So be sure to watch the next video which is going to deal with angles of polygons and figuring out some problems with those.